Warning! In this video, you're going to see some horrific pictures of some really bad hair. This was me about three weeks ago. Uh, just about three weeks ago. And as you can see, I have terrible, terrible hair. Now in the picture I'm laughing and it's kind of a funny picture and it's meant to be funny. But this picture is hiding a pretty sad story. Uh, these were for Twitter in fact and I was doing these funny wee captions and playing the part of the eccentric guy who doesn't care, you know. I'm kind of good at being that guy. But in actual fact, uh, all of this, this whole demeanour has been hiding a big problem for me. You see, back in 2008, I got a hair transplant, which was really stupid actually. I wish I had just gone bald. That would have been cool. There's nothing wrong with being bald. I, I wish I had the option. But uh, the vibe is, after you get hair transplants, you're supposed to take drugs every day. And uh, there's even debate about whether the drugs work. I don't think they work, actually. And I wasn't into doing uh, any kind of drugs. So for almost 10 years, my hair's just all fallen back out again. And this uh, is me. And the problem I have is that if I, if I cut my hair short, then I have this terrible, terrible scarring. Now, brace yourself, right? But this is me after my last visit to a hairdresser. Have a look at that scarring. This is literally me after I've came out of the hairdresser. I, can you believe I actually paid for this? And if you look at the side of my head, you may notice that it's all dark. This is hair dye and I'm trying really hard to hide this terrible scarring. So, um, as you can imagine, I'm not really into hairdressers these days. I'm not really into that profession, barbers, whatever. Um, I don't have too much faith in that. And so, since then, I've taken on the demeanour of the funny guy with the crazy hair, you know, and that was it. But of course, beneath the smiles and the laughter, there has been a, a guy with really, really low self-esteem, you know. And I'm not going to say that I've solved all of those issues or anything like that, but I decided that, you know, I'm an intelligent guy, right? And I thought, maybe I could treat this like a problem, like a computing problem, you know? And instead of going all emotional, I'll just look at the logic and kind of treat this like a fun puzzle and see if I can come up with some solutions. Remember, folks, the dilemma that I've got personally is that if I cut my hair too short, I look like this and it's all scarring. And if I leave it too long, I end up looking like Einstein or something, you know? So it's not good. Um, I do have terribly thinning hair. You can just see scalp and everything and it's ridiculous. Anyway, that was me three weeks ago. And this is me now. Okay. And uh, it's not it's not perfect, but I hope you'll agree that there is a little bit of a an improvement there. And so this is a video uh, about how to cut your own hair. Uh, this is something that definitely is a lot of stress for a lot of people and I just figured that it would be worth doing. So I'm going to show you how to cut your own hair, which is something I'm now doing. And uh, I'm going to do this as long as I can. I, I'm never going back to a hairdresser again. And uh, not only am I going to cover that, but I'm going to show you how to go from this to this, okay, um, very easily, very, very quickly. Uh, and basically, it's all about how to make the best of what you've got, you know. So I hope you enjoy this uh, end of introduction and... Here comes the video. First thing you're going to need, you are going to need a good uh, hair clipper. It does not need to be super expensive. Uh, this one will cost about 25 quid and here is the Amazon page, okay? Uh, this one here comes, most of them actually come with a bunch of accessories, little goodies like this and this particular one has scissors which is handy, right? Um, 
one of the things I'll say is that if you are a guy who has thinning rubbish hair and lots of scalp like me, the last thing you want to do is go zoom, you know, like some farmer and his sheep, you know. Uh, it, it's it's a bad look. We need the length, guys. We really need it. So um, you're going to want to use one of these attachments and you're going to want the biggest one possible. Now, unfortunately, finding uh, versions of these things with large attachments is not easy. There's a couple of them that have got 45 millimeters, a uh, couple of hair clippers, but it's hard to find. The biggest one that I've got is 15 millimeters. Whoop, pardon me. 15 millimeters, right? So that is just not enough. If I was to go through my hair with that, you'd see all of that scarring and you'd definitely see tons of scalp. It would just be a bad look, you know? So that's not good enough. However, there is a solution, okay? There is a solution and it's remarkably simple. The solution is these little lighters. You want to use your fingers, right? So you're going into the hair and you're using your fingers plus the guard, right? Fingers plus guard equals about four centimeters. That's enough, right? So everything goes through the fingers like this. You want to go around your head like that. When you get to the top, leave more length, okay? We need all the length we can get, especially at the top. So at the top, we're hovering, hovering a wee bit, but just bringing it down so that it doesn't look too crazy, right? Now, don't forget the side you can go in a bit more usually. I have to keep mine a bit longer at the side because I've got horrible scarring and stuff. And the back, the secret to the back is actually uh, a little bit of technology. Um, this is a Logitech, I think it's a C930 webcam. It's the best webcam on the market. It's fantastic uh, HD and everything. This is a little tripod that I picked up for £10 from Tesco, right? And the vibe is, you want to set that up behind you and then have your camera on in the computer and you're looking at the screen, make sure you've got lots of good lighting. I would normally have my back to the window and turn around. And then we're doing exactly the same at the back, exactly the same, okay? Now, there is... There is no need to worry about the back. Thanks to the wonders of technology, we can do the back and it's no problem. Do not waste your money on a handheld mirror or any kind of mirror system. You need to have both hands free. By the way, that's light. It's not sweat, okay? It's just the light. It's cool, you see, it's some kind of light. I look like I'm sweating here and I'm not. I might be in a minute, but not yet. So the back's not a problem. You need both hands free though, and you need to get a webcam on there, okay? Um, couple of, well, actually two or three more stages. Once you've gone around everything and you're happy, you want to pinch and go out, and when you're finding those strays, remove those. Remember, finger in the guard, right? You will find strays, and you just take them off, okay? Go around your whole head and do that. Then, uh, as we approach the finish line, you want to whack uh, this off. So we're now going down to the bare thing here. And that's when we want to do the ears, right? You want to get right in, right in, and just tidy that right up, tidy that up, go right in and all of that stuff, close as you can, and get rid of all of that crap. Do you know what I mean? Get it sharp, sharp. That's what you're aiming for. With the back, again, webcam on, fingers like this, and you're making a straight line with your fingers. Then you're going under your fingers with this angle this way. Can you see what I'm doing here? That's your fingers, right? Here's, my, here's the back of my head, right? And you're going in, and you're, you're doing that and down, okay? Along the back, right? And down your neck, tidy up all of that stuff. Tidy that up, and you're always, always using your fingers as protection. Now you do that and you will have a, a good haircut. It will be straight, it'll be fine, and everything will be cool. However, 
There's one little magic ingredient that I would highly recommend, especially if you are a character who has thinning hair, right? Thinning hair people like me. You need to use the ultimate beauty product or the ultimate hair care product. And you know what that is? I'm going to show you. Guys, this is the ultimate hair care product. It's just an egg. But let me tell you something. If you break one of these and get it in here and then leave it on until it dries in, which will take between 30 minutes and an hour, depending on room temperature, okay? Just whack it in and leave it in. Go watch TV or something, right? I'm telling you right now, this is going to create miracles. Because what this does is it sends highly concentrated protein straight to the area where you need it. Remember, your hair is porous, right? Hair is porous. So this is going to go right into that. And I'm telling you right now, like, do you see how I've got a wee bit of body there? Just a wee bit? Not much, right? It's all that. It's not anything else. There's no other thing. It's this, right? So this is what happens. Now, the first time I tried this, let me tell you, folks, the very next day, I had compliments coming in. I had one great looking gal from a client's place saying, hey, I really love your hair. Can you believe it? A guy with hair as rubbish as mine. I was getting compliments and it's this, okay? This is the vibe. And I would recommend doing this once a week, right? Get one of these and whack it on and leave it on once a week. I'm telling you, this is the greatest hair care product ever. By the way, just a quick edit that I thought of before I save this one. Um, when you've let the egg dry in, you do shampoo it off, okay? I think that's probably quite obvious. Um, I would recommend, as far as shampoos go, I would recommend just something simple and actually as close to nature as possible. Now, I don't have any recommendations right now, but um, I am... I don't know why I'm doing that, I'm just looking at my hair actually. I am investigating uh, some completely natural products and I just feel that the closer we get to nature, the better we're going to be because nature is perfect, you know. Um, I do not recommend hairspray or hair gel or any other crap, okay. Um, just go with the egg vibe, nice simple shampoo, not, nothing weird um, and that's the vibe, okay. Um, lastly. These clippers come with scissors. You will notice stray hairs. I've probably got a few right now. I can see a few here, right? But it's not really worrying me. But if you notice anything that's, you know, not quite right, sometimes you'll even notice something like an hour or two later if you're in the car and you just see something. Just do a little trim, but nothing drastic. Little bit, less is more, and that's the vibe, okay? So that is how you cut your hair especially if you've got thinning hair. If you've enjoyed this video and, you know, you'd like more of this kind of content because it's different from the type of thing I normally do, then please let me know. G give me a thumbs up or something. And if I get enough thumbs ups, then I'll come back at you with more information like this. Information that will make your life better. Thanks for watching. Happy hair cutting. I'll see you soon.